All right, we've already tested out the GTX 1060 to see how it lined up with the system requirements with that medium 1080p 60 FPS experience. But now let's take a look over here at the ultimate ray tracing experience in the system requirements where they recommend the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 or a Radeon RX 6950 XT. Now I don't have a 6950 XT, but I do have an RTX 3080 12 gigabyte version, which we'll be testing out here. And they're recommending the CPU at a Ryzen 9 5900X. I have a 5950X, so we should be good to go here. And the ray tracing settings in this game can actually have a very heavy demand on the CPU. So if you don't feel like your GPU delivers the same performance that I'm getting in this game, um, it can be due to a CPU limit. That is a very real thing. Uh, I'm gonna be testing out different ray tracing settings. We're gonna look at 4K first, but also 1440p. Uh, we'll be using DLSS, things like that. And unlike my last one with the GTX 1060, I kind of test everything in one room in a combat scene to keep things consistent. But I had some comments saying that they'd rather see some variety throughout the city. So this time we're gonna play through a lot of the opening sequence of the game uh, at various settings as we go and just kind of see what sort of experience we get. Let's hop right in. So this is running at 4K on the RTX 3080 12 gigabytes and the performance is awesome, although I do not yet have ray tracing turned on. This is the 4K native performance at the very high preset. As you can see here, very high preset, but currently with ray tracing turned off. And we are at the 4K resolution with no upscaling at this point. So it looks like if you're not trying to use ray tracing, there's absolutely no trouble just maxing the game out at 4K and you are good to go. However, if we wanna kick on the ray tracing, now one thing I really like about this game is that you can immediately see things change in the graphics menu as you see it. We can now see the windows have more reflections and this is with the very high settings with an object range of six. It's looking like the object range has a heavy impact on your CPU load. So if you are not on a incredibly beefy CPU, you might need to leave that object range down a bit here. We'll, we'll start here for now, get an idea of this performance. So again, this is without using DLSS. And you can see while it's very, very playable, we are certainly not getting a 60 FPS experience. So the magic of DLSS is very obviously going to be a good choice when you're trying to ray trace on this GPU using the um, uh, ray tracing. So if we kick on DLSS and why don't we start out at the quality setting, we'll see here our, we're at around 44 FPS. And if I kick on DLSS, that is at least in this scene, bumping us up over that 60 FPS mark. So why don't we just play around here for a bit with these settings and see how it goes. It's looking like we are getting some occasional dips below 60 FPS. But let's get a wider range of the uh, gameplay experience here to, um, you know, figure out if we're dipping below 60 enough to be worth turning anything down using a more aggressive DLSS upscale, that kind of thing. So in my uh, GTX 1060 test, people said I wasn't flying through the city. <laughs> so here, flying through the city. Uh, in that video, I was trying to test out a combat scene because I found that that was one of the more demanding things in the game. But we can do some uh, city flying. It's looking like this looks very good. The image quality is very good. And ray tracing is uh, pretty doable, at least so far. Looks like as we get close to the ground, the frame rate's a bit tougher than when we're flying high above the uh, buildings and whatnot. Probably more geometry and pedestrians and all that on the ground level. So let's uh, head back down there for a second. Looks like down here we are still hanging out around 60 FPS, so we had a little bit of a dip below there and I felt a little bit of a stutter down. You can see we've got, you know, reflections in the windows and whatnot. Looks pretty nice. Should we pause and compare real quick? So 
Am I, uh, so we can see my character model reflected in the window along with a lot of the buildings in the background and such. So what if we go ahead and look at, okay, is that ray traced reflection, you know, <laughs> uh, worth the cost? So if we turn that off, we certainly see a, a very big change to the way the reflections look in the window, right? Um, not much of Spider-Man himself really reflected in the window. You can see a little bit of him. Uh, you certainly get window reflections here, but is that really what's behind us, right? So it's very much a less realistic uh, reflection. Although, you know, if you're not thinking about it too much and don't know what's behind you, you might not really notice it. But once again, uh, kicking that ray trace setting back on here, we'll see it kind of fade in there over a second. You now see that we see Spider-Man reflected in the window and the buildings behind him are actually the buildings behind him. So, you know, it certainly does uh, make a much more realistic reflection, but again, at quite a performance hit. But so far, it's looking like DLSS is keeping us at a pretty good experience here. Cutscene dipping into the 50s, that's no big deal if it's a cutscene, especially if you're on a variable refresh rate monitor. So, yeah, so far seeming to mostly hold up here. And here comes the truck. Dipped slightly below 60 during that uh, truck crash, but nothing too major or anything like that. All right. Let's, uh, can I not, there we go. I was gonna say, just to kind of keep moving here with things, let's skip into the combat section. All right. Now this is what I was saying where I felt like some combat sections are more demanding than just, uh, you know, uh, flying through the city on the webs. So we can see here that it's not just temporary dips below 60 FPS. We are consistently below 60 FPS uh, in this area during this fight with these settings. So I would say one option here would be we could try one more step on our uh, DLSS method, which is we could go to the balanced setting, which at 4K still usually looks um, very, very good, very close to the native. Um, you can usually see some issues with it. I'm just trying to get a feel for if that kind of did the trick and were... Seems like if, if 60 FPS is the target, um, that did a lot better job of getting us there. So it's looking like DLSS balanced if we want to keep these settings. All right, should I actually fight these guys? <laughs> I don't remember what the buttons do. I was playing with the graphics. There we go. <laughs> Get to hear some excellent one-liners and... Uh, excellent might be in air quotes there. <laughs> but I think that's part of the fun with Spider-Man, right? Here comes the truck. Do we stay above 60? All right, so yeah, it's definitely looking like... Um, yeah, with the DLSS on the balance setting, we're performance-wise, I think, in a pretty good place here. So the other thing I wanted to test out was what about 1440p? Do we actually need... DLSS if we're going to go 1440p. So let's um, kick this down to 1440p and turn DLSS off. So, because I know uh, a lot of people would still be on a 1440p monitor with their 3080. So upscaling is off, 1440p. We still got all of this stuff uh, cranked up pretty high here. And getting a baseline performance level here. It looks like we are getting some dips below 60 FPS. Not too terrible or anything. Um, 
I'll try using a bit of DLSS in a second here and see what would happen if we went with DLSS quality at the uh, 1440p resolution. That still usually looks very, very usable. Although, wait a second, I wanted the quality setting. There we go. All right, so here is DLSS quality with these ray tracing settings. And it's looking like we are comfortably above 60 FPS running around in this area. So these look like they would be quite usable settings for ray tracing 1440p. Cutscene kind of thing seems to be holding above 60 FPS pretty well as well. I knew this wouldn't go quietly. Yeah, the swinging through the city bit seems to be doing well as well. Curious on the swinging through the city if I turned DLSS off, how we would be uh, holding up here. Because it seemed like that combat that we were in was a bit more difficult than uh, uh, just swinging through the city. Yeah, it's looking like, at least in this area, just swinging through the city, DLSS was not required. Cutscene seems to be holding up. Alright. Couple dips below 60 FPS during a cutscene. I don't really mind that. Let's see how we. How we do here. The broken glass seemed to give us some trouble. All right, so this scene, again, so far no DLSS, and we're holding above 60 FPS, so seems pretty good. Okay. Yes, earn extra focus with air combat. Look at me go. So yeah, overall, I think um, performance seems pretty good. And the, uh, you know, ray trace reflections look pretty nice. Overall, I'm very happy with this uh, PC port of the game. And the next thing I'd like to test out is what if we weren't using ray tracing? So what would be our um, 1440p performance if we just didn't have ray tracing? <laughs> so if, I'm guessing we should be able to get a very high refresh rate experience here. Yeah, looks like I'm actually uh, a bit CPU limited. 93% on the GPU, so still mostly getting all the use out of the GPU, but... CPU taken a bit. Where's the enemies? Here's that's a bad guy, right? <laughs> okay, I can heal. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so it's looking like without ray tracing, the um, performance is quite quite good. Right. What else? Uh, what else should we test here, guys? <laughs> should we try? What if we did a bit of a compromise and went with a lower ray tracing setting? So we could try um, going on with the ray traced reflections, but with a uh, the it has high or very high. So very high, high. You can definitely see a difference in the reflection, although high. And then if we compare that to off. 
you're still getting something for the high setting versus that. And then we've got the geometry. We can lower the mesh quality. Oh, wow, that's a very noticeable difference. Interesting. Um, so let's look at just high versus off. Is that okay? So you're still you're still getting something for your for your ray tracing here with with high instead of very high. So let's try that out for a bit. Um, just the ray tracing high settings rather than very high. Yeah, this looks like um, if we just want the high settings at 1440p, there would be no need to use DLSS if you didn't want to. The performance seems quite good. Guess uh, throwing that was kind of pointless. <laughs> All right. um, let's see, where, where, where are them bad guys at? Should I actually play the game? I'm, I'm looking at the reflections if you guys are like, why, why, is, why is he running around like an idiot? I was looking at the reflections, okay? So you can definitely see the characters reflected in the flooring and such there. Spider-Man, status. Heading to the upper floors, and hoping nobody turns on the elevators. Our choppers are taking fire. Looks like Fisk has armed men on every floor. He's desperate. And he's hitting us with everything he's got. I have to find him and end this. Not yet. We just picked up Chatter. They're wiping all their data servers. We need that evidence if we want to put him away for good. Okay, server room it is. Call from May. All Talk right. That's my, uh, hi, Aunt May. What is all that noise? Watching a superhero movie. What's up? I just wanted to make sure we're still on for dinner tomorrow night. Totally. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Mm. Uh, okay. Love you. Love you too. All right, well, it's looking like I said, the um, ray traced reflections at high, our performance seems fine. So um, the next thing I wanna look at is what if we looked at the 4K resolution, but we left the uh, ray tracing just at this high setting rather than the very high setting. So again, we're at the high ray tracing rather than that at the very high and at the 4k native oh wait b b and y i was pressing the wrong buttons okay it's like a few dips below 60 fps here even with the slightly lower ray tracing settings on to the next one And then if we kicked on DLSS quality, let's see what happens. Uh, let's see, that was right over here. So again, this is the ray tracing high rather than very high. 4K DLSS quality. going this way, they'll destroy all the evidence. I should look for a sneaky way in. Should we look for a sneaky way in, guys? like my own private ventrance. Fisk may be a dirty criminal, but he has remarkably clean air vents. Hurry up. The boss wants everything erased. Can't make it delete any Take bad. down. They're so cute when they're oblivious. Oh, come on. Halfway there. Need another minute or two. You think the cops know where we are? Don't worry about out there. Is this tech support? I forgot my password. <laughs> Don't let him near the console. <laughs> All right, well, performance seems good here. Gotta access that console before everything's gone. Let's 
see just how good their security is. Oh, you guys Performance during this cutscene seems good. Hiding in the Says the guy frantically erasing his search history. After all these years, more still just an ignorant child. True, but that's part of my charm, isn't it? Damn you. Get that door down now! All right. Get past him. Destroy everything. <laughs> Look around you. I did this. What have you ever done with that? Well, there was that time I took down a pompous, overstuffed crime lord before breakfast. Ah. Gotta dodge when I see my spidey senses tingling. <laughs> In a long, tough road, this. Almost sad to see it end. We'll get ready for the main event. All right. Yuri, an explosion just... I saw it. This could have the whole place wired. I'm sending in a bomb unit. We'll make sure no one gets in their way. Kill him or the boss will kill us. Okay, so yeah, it's looking like there's no trouble at all using those settings. So I think we'll finish out here with... Um, I'm going to kick these back on to the very high settings. You can see it kind of recalculating there. <laughs> um, and then we've got the DLSS on quality. We'll go back to the uh, balanced setting. And I'm kind of thinking these will be, you know, I do play at 4K on this GPU. So what I actually want to test out now is like personal use. I think these are probably the settings I'm going to go with. <laughs> Uh, so let's just test it out a bit longer at these settings uh, and see if I uh, if I confirm. Clear. Move up. Hey guys, I guess bombs are part of Willie's getaway plan. Sounds like they're trapped. You go after them. We'll look for the bombs. All right. Evacuate the building. I heard more people back that way. I'll find them. Where, where, where am I going? Here we go. We Alright, Spider Man's we gotta save the day here. Get ready for some button mashing. More button mashing. Okay, Willie, coming your way. Spider Man, it's your okay. How we doing, Captain? Could be better. Our choppers took a beating. We just had to ground our last one. If Fisk calls in a chopper, we have no one to stop it from landing. And no one to chase him if he flies away. Why do I get the feeling that's what he was planning all along? Because he probably was. Damn. Yuri, get EMTs up here, fast! We're trying. Uh-oh. Incoming! I gotta dodge the thingies. <laughs> The performance of these settings is uh, definitely seeming pretty solid. With the DLSS upscale uh, from the balance setting, I do occasionally see a little uh, aliasing breakup on some of the lines in the architecture, things like that. It's not that big of a deal, though. And the ray traced reflections do seem to add a lot to the image. Bomb squad 
guys get through there. So yeah, I am feeling like these will be the settings I'll be playing the game at. Just kind of max it out and kick on a little bit of uh, DLSS. At 4K. And the main issue I, I, I'm noticing I think is coming from the DLSS is... I don't know how well this will come through on the YouTube video or anything, but um, if I look at the little rectangular like tile flooring as I'm running around in motion, um, you get a little bit of instability and aliasing to the lines in the tile. It's it's not that big of a deal, and I think it's uh, you know we're getting a very big performance boost, and we get some nice reflections like this. Like hey, look at that little tree. I have a feeling if we kicked off the um, the ray tracing here, you know, we, we don't get the cool tree quite as much, you know. <laughs> Although, honestly, the game still looks pretty good without that, so... You know, up to you. I do, you know, get this nice high refresh rate experience, even at the native resolution, without that turned on, so... Now, the other interesting thing this game features is also DLAA which is using the DLSS um, anti-aliasing, but without improving, uh, without, uh, improving the frame rate, because you're not rendering at a lower resolution. Uh, we could try that out for a minute, just for fun. <laughs> you guys all right? We were just about to call for backup. I think I'm it. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss. Spidey senses are tingling, guys. Okay. Um, now, just a second here. So using this uh, DLAA with ray tracing off, wow, seems very demanding, or am I crazy? What would be the performance here? So we're around 70 FPS. Uh, if I just switch it back to the normal TAAA, maybe this is just a demanding scene. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at 4K. Okay, so, I mean, it's not a huge difference, but it does certainly seem to take a, a, a bit of a performance hit. So again, around 80 FPS and kicking it over to DLAA. And yeah, dropping all the way down to around 73. So yeah, there certainly does seem to be a performance hit to using that. Well, it's cool to see that the game has it, and honestly my performance with that on is still pretty good. All right, should we end it here? There's my test on the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. Overall performance of the game seems good. Seems like you can max out the ray tracing if you want to. And at 4K, you just might want to use a little bit of uh, DLSS to kind of iron things out. Although honestly, the performance of the game, if you want a high refresh rate experience, just kick off the, DL uh, the uh, ray tracing and the game still looks quite good and I'll step in the fire and die to end the video. Have an excellent day.